Hello guys, this is Ruben with Touchdown Tech. I'm here for with another tu tutorial about installing WordPress on your Bluehost account. So go ahead and log in, copy your username and password, password or possibly have something like last password. It's already set to go. And submit. Alright, and just uh, to show you, I'm going to open up uh, the current domain where we're going to install, Wor uh, install WordPress. It's uh, The domain is installingwordpress.net, and right now it just goes to this Bluehost page because there's no CMS or website software actually installed inside that directory that the domain is pointing to. So back here, uh, we'll check... Uh, Go to the cPanel. In fact, that's actually where we were. And right down here, under Website Builders, install WordPress. There's a few different ways to do it, but this is the easiest way. Uh, click Install. It'll have the latest version. Then it'll ask what domain. And so you can see I've got uh, two different versions or two different domains with several different versions. I always go with the without www, and so I want to install it on the installing wordpress.net. So and make sure this there's nothing in the directory there. Click check domain. And I always like to just double check, see what this is. Okay, so it's got the site name. Uh, if you know what the website's going to be about, you can change that. Um, admin password you can leave that as default um, you will since it's showing up on the video obviously I will be changing that and you do want to change your admin password you don't want to leave that uh, or, or basically you just want to create a new account and just disable that admin account but there's no worries there because by the time you watch this video that will be long gone You do need to check that. I've read the terms and condition, and then click install. All right, Bluehost is going to try to upsell you on themes, and you don't need any of these. Even if you want to use them at some point, don't get them now. What you, all we want to do is just install WordPress, and you can see there's a status up at the top here. All right, so it's complete. I'll view the credentials. Um, and here it's, uh, the, if I click view here, it's going to show what my username is, what the password is, what the URL is, and then also what the admin URL is, where we would log in to make changes. So, uh, and here you can see there's a couple extra add-ons, which I would not recommend using. So I'm just going to copy the username here and go to the admin URL. And I'm, I'm noticing here it's got two backslashes. And so I'm not sure if that's going to cause an issue or not. If it is, I'll show you how to fix that as well. So click on that. It'll open up a new tab. And it did remove it. The additional. It's asking to log in. All right, so that's it. You got it installed, and now if we refresh over here in slangwordpress.net, I'm going to refresh the page, and we will see we've got uh, the front end of the default WordPress. In a future video, I'll show you how to change the site title and uh, make some other changes to your website. Feel free to uh, leave a comment. And uh, if you have questions, we can address those in future videos and blog posts. Thank you for checking out installing WordPress.net.